chasing Shine right deep inside you When will you ever let it shine from within And cast all of your fears aside you see To Kingdom Reviews. I'm your host, Future Keybearer. Today we reach the end with the Keyblade Graveyard. Let's start off with Terra as he finds a familiar world. As he's checking out the beach, we see a young Sora and Riku running around. Riku, race ya! First one to the boat gets to be captain! Ah, <sighs> the more things change, the more they stay the same. As the two run to meet up with Sora's dad, who we never hear anything from, Riku decides to investigate Terra. Did you come from the outside world? Why would you say that? Because nobody lives out here. And I know you're not from the main island. Smart kid. And yet so easily duped. I heard once there was a kid who left for good. Terra decides to perform a ritual that will pass on his ability to wield the Keyblade to Riku. You gotta keep this a secret, okay? Otherwise all the magic will wear off. Okay, Riku, bud, when a grown man asks you to touch his sword and keep it a secret, you run away, tell your parents, and local law enforcement. Meanwhile, we see the Star Shard takes Ven to Master Yen Sid's tower, where Donald and Goofy are worrying about Mickey. So, in Cage 2, when Donald was surprised to find out where Master Yen Sid lived, I guess there was just a hole in his memory. I blame Naminé. So the two bring Ben inside, and Yen Sid uses the Star Shard to find Mickey. Just tell us where the king is, Mr. Yen Sid, sir, and me and Donald will go right there and save him. You two, that may not be adequate. Ouch! I mean, he's probably right, but ouch. I'll find him. I recognize the place we saw. And you go, we'll go with you. Yeah! No, I owe him. What? No, why? Mickey saved me once, and I can't risk putting his friends in danger. Boo! So Ven goes to find Mickey, but when he does, he is approached by Master Xehanort, who tells Ven that he has the power to make a powerful weapon called the Keyblade. Keyblade? Not the key blades you and I carry. Key, the most ancient word. Some say Kai, but the meaning is the same. So then why not avoid confusion and call it the Kai Blade? Or X Blade? Xehanort continues that Ericus is fully aware of this fact, thus is the reason why he never wanted Ben to leave. Yeah. He never let me see other worlds. No matter how much I asked. What, did he allow Terra and Aqua to go on these little field trips? So Xehanort sends Ven and Mickey away, and Ven ends up near the Land of Departure, where he decides to confront Ericus. Forgetting about saving Mickey, apparently. Afterwards, Xehanort summons Terra and tells him that Ven went to force answers out of Ericus. Naturally, he buys this and gives chase. Back with Ven, he reveals to Ericus that he knows the truth, and to the Master's credit, he doesn't try to deny anything. However, Ericus decides that now that he knows, Ven is too dangerous to let live. But before he can do anything, Terra steps in. You may be my master, but I will not let you hurt my friend! Has the darkness taken you, Terra? No, that aura around him is just his musk. So Terra opens a portal that takes Ven to Destiny Islands, where he encounters Venetus. He tries to get Ven to fight him so they can create the Keyblade, but Ven refuses. So Venetus decides he's gonna give him a reason to fight. Back with Terra, we get a pretty intense fight against Master Ericus. After beating him, both of them are immediately filled with regret for their choices. No. But before they can reconcile... Right. Xehanort arrives with a last-ditch effort to convince Terra to fall into darkness. And to rub salt in the wound, he destroys Land of Departure. So, let's recap. Mark Hamill plays a seasoned master who, by his own admission, foolishly attempts to destroy one of his pupils because he fears the dark power that his pupil possesses. 
which results in his home and training ground getting destroyed, among other problems that affect the whole galaxy. Meanwhile, Aqua finds her way to Destiny Islands, where she meets Sora and Riku. While talking to them, she sees that Riku has been given the power of the Keyblade. One Keyblade is enough for any friendship. Yeah, just one Keyblade between those two didn't work out too well. Afterwards, Aqua comes across Mickey in the lanes between and takes him back to Bastry Instead. Upon arrival, Aqua gets some bad news. Master Ericus's star has blinked out. I am afraid that means he has been struck down. <gasps> After hearing that Terra was partially responsible, Aqua heads over to where both Terra and Ven are headed. The Keyblade Graveyard. The place of the dreaded Keyblade War. Yeah, remember that story that Kyrie's grandma told her? That is the story of the Keyblade War. An event that destroyed the entire world. An event that Master Xehanort wants to recreate. Why? They say ruin brings about creation. So what then would another Keyblade War bring? He's... curious. He's nuts. So all three of our protagonists arrive in this ominous barren wasteland. The main bulk of this world features these weird twisters that are filled with variations of different unbursts. At the end of the road, our heroes meet up. Aqua asks Terra about Ericus, and just like his master, doesn't even try to hide it. When Ven arrives, he tells Terra and Aqua about the X-Blade, and has quite the request. I'm asking you, as a friend. Just... put an end to me. Okay, Ben. Unrelated, I want you to see what's behind this shed! Suddenly, Xehanort and Vanitas arrive ready to fight. And we get one of the most badass sequences in KH history. And because it's the same across all three stories, you'll probably get tired of it. Moving on to a specific character, Terra engages Xehanort and Vanitas. After either defeating Vanitas or whittling Xehanort down, Xehanort sends Vanitas to finish off Ben and Aqua. Terra takes this well! So after beating Xehanort, his actual plan for Terra rears its ugly head. Apparently seeing how he is old and brittle, B.S. He's one of the most powerful beings in the series! Xehanort knows he'll never survive past the Keyblade War, so he filled Terra's heart with darkness so he could insert his own heart into him and take control. This series might be a little odd. Anyway, Xehanort does just that, but Terra still refuses to go down without a fight. After thoroughly kicking the ass of the being fans refer to as Terranort, what remains of Terra claims to one day set things right with Ben and Aqua. He sits there and waits... until Sora comes along to kick his ass. As this is going on, Aqua is caring for the Vensicle, as Bragg arrives to pick a fight. A fight that is still similar to the others. Just saying. After getting his ass kicked again, Bragg runs off, leaving Aqua distracted when... Okay, no joke, even though I knew she was gonna be okay, when I first saw this, I freaked out! And Ven feels the same way as he manages to free himself from the ice fueled by pure rage, and takes on Vanitas before he can finish her off. Unfortunately, this is exactly what he wants. Now that my body is about to perish, you and I will have to join together. Uh -huh. Yeah, most people were as surprised as Ben is. But for different reasons. It'll get explained later. Sort of. Yeah! Uh, the inverse come from you? You know, I'm just now realizing... When did Ven ever hear the name Unversed? I mean, he wasn't at the meeting where Terra and Aqua heard, so who told him? Anyway, Vanitas and Ven fuse together, but much like Terra, he doesn't go down without a fight. Specifically, the most bullshit fight in this game! So get this, most of the fight goes off as normal, until you get to the end. Basically, you're given a new Vanitas D-Link and have to build up your gauge with a new command so you can deliver the finishing blow. The problem here is that you have seconds to learn how to utilize these commands, can't heal yourself, and the final attack can miss! Screw this! While this is going on, Aqua is awoken by Mickey, and the two see that Ven has been taken over by Vanitas. Thus begins the only team boss fight of the endgame. I just love the fact that Mickey is here. Afterwards, through the bonds of friendship, I guess, Aqua manages a powerful attack that pushes through even the X-Blade. It also causes the blade to explode, but we won't worry about that. 
Mickey takes Aqua and Ben to Master Yen Sid, where we see that Ven is in a sort of coma. Yen Sid believing that Ven's heart has left his body and will one day return. And that was the Keyblade Graveyard. Oh boy, that was a lot! While I don't feel like it has the same gravitas as some of the other Final Worlds in the series, right off the bat it does make it feel like this is not going to end well. The actual world itself has very little to it, but that's not what it's here for. It's set up for the Final Clash. And it's interesting how even though Terra and Ven won their fights, they still lost. As for Aqua, well... Tune in next time for the final chapter.